Family, your spiritual path is extremely sacred, okay? And you got to remember that a lot of people are going to show up to get you to fall off of that narrow little path, okay? I have a great, great positive message for you all today. Stay tuned, family, all right? But you already know the deal. First, hit it. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. My name is Kevin Brown, also known as Expressed Words with a Z, and welcome back to Speak It, See It, Feel It, where you can speak your life into existence, you can see it becoming a reality, and you can feel as if it is already yours, man. Happy Wednesday, guys. Welcome back to another video. I hope you all are having a great day today, all right? Welcome for all the people that are new. Welcome, 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 guys, all right? So we're gonna get right to this video, Chosen Ones. Let's get right to this message today because I'm sure a lot of you might be dealing with this, okay? This might resonate, all right? And if this resonates with you, if you can pay attention, if you're able to discern, all right, you're gonna be able to move along your path easily okay well not easily of course you're going to go through the trials and tribulations but much easier because now you're going to be able to discern okay now listen i did two other videos on my channel all right now i'm going to pretty much tie those two channels into today's mess or i'm sorry those two videos into day to today's message all right so pay close attention because you guys this might be what you're experiencing all right now listen if you're going through a spiritual awakening you have gone through a spiritual awakening pulling your hair out <laughs> you don't know what's happening in your life right all these things are happening but God chose you to do something you have that light within you you have the Holy Spirit within you God chose you to do something okay now check this out okay pay very very close attention now along your journey family along your narrow path all right you're trying to figure things out you get to one milestone you're cheering you get to the next milestone you're cheering all right and along until you you, you keep moving you keep moving Okay, but in between those milestones, all right, is going to be trials and tribulations. We know this, all right? There's going to be things that's meant to throw you off of your path, all right? But but you have to pay very close attention to the wolves that are in sheep's clothing, okay? Because some of you, right, some of you may go to a certain place. Maybe you just, let's just say, for instance, you go to the store, right? Maybe you go to Home Depot or something, or maybe you go to Sears, any store, it doesn't matter. And you happen to meet someone along the way. You meet somebody there and they fall into alignment with what you need to get your business moving forward. It's what you need, it's what you've been looking for, right? It's everything that you've been asking for. They have the skill set, they have the ability, they have the connections to other people to get you to that next level. Here's the thing, it looks beautiful, man. Everything looks great, you exchange numbers, Everything you start working with this person, okay? Everything is great, everything is moving forward, it seems, okay? But the thing is, is that deep, deep, deep down inside, they already know your spirit. When they met you, they already knew exactly what you were about, they already knew what you were trying to do, and just like that, they happen to have the ability or the skill set or the connections to where you needed to go. Okay, you got to remember on your spiritual awakening journey, on your path, okay, Satan is going to send agents, okay, Satan is going to send people in disguise to completely throw you off your path. Of course, we know this as well, but when it looks extremely, extremely good and it aligns with what you're trying to do, it aligns with where you're trying to go, it aligns with what you need out of your life. Okay, this is where your discernment is going to play key. This is why you have to pray on everything, even the people that you meet, the other people that you bring in. Pray for them. Pray on the situations. Pray on the environments that you're in. Okay, because Satan will know, hey, this person's about to get in their car and go to Home Depot today. I'm going to place somebody right here, right there at the register, at the, and they're going to talk about this. Okay, some of these people are wolves in sheep clothing. Some of these people are false prophets. Some of these people are meant to show up along your path, okay, to drain you completely. Some of you have that business idea. You have an amazing business idea. You have amazing, you have an amazing invention, something you're creating. You're doing something amazing out there. Keep it up, right? But you know what? Satan doesn't like it, but God loves it. But Satan does not like it which is why he will send agents, double agents, 007, <laughs> which is why he will send, 
his own little minions and demons in the skies of people. That's why you also got to pay attention to the pastors that you're listening to at the churches. Okay, because a lot of them are wolves in sheep clothing. Right now, the thing is, family, is that some of these people have the spirit of greed. They have the spirit of hate. They have the narcissistic spirit on them, but they will show up to completely ruin your life. Okay, now tying this into two videos, like I said, this is how we're going to tie this all together. All right, you went through your spiritual awakening. All right, and because you've gone through your spiritual awakening, God's called you to do something. God is telling you, I have a much higher purpose for you, my child. I have something more grand for you. Okay, that is why when you when you um, are working at that nine to five job, okay, the first video, you have a much higher calling. That's why it doesn't resonate with you anymore. Okay, because God is saying, I have something stronger. I have something better. I have a much bigger door that is open just for you. That is why the job doesn't resonate. Okay, stay with me. Okay, the, the system, okay, the nine to five job system. Okay, you guys got to get it in your head. You got to realize this right now. It is a system that has been put in place to keep you on that hamster wheel of unhappiness. So when you wake up and you decide to go this way, now Satan is placing more agents on your path because he wants you to come back to the system. You feel me? Stay with me. Okay, he wants you to come back to the system. But a lot of you are like, I can't do this anymore. Okay, it doesn't resonate with my spirit, Coach Kev. I can't do this. I need to do something better. I need to do something that's going to help people. Okay. And that is what you start to do. You're starting your research. You're starting your humanitarian projects. You're moving forward in life, even though you may not know what it is yet. You may not know what your purpose is yet. Okay. Family. Remember a lot of you have so many talents. God has given all of us talents. All of you have a talent. Some of you have bottled that talent up for too long. Some of you have left that talent in the shed right? It's got cobwebs on it. You need to go dust your talents off and you need to use them and abuse them because your talents, okay, will turn into your passions. A lot of your talents will be your passion and your passion will turn into your purpose, okay? And Satan doesn't want you to find your purpose. And let's go back to this story. Stay with me, family. Okay, give this video a thumbs up if it resonates with you. So you're back on, you. It's not. you're no longer re resonating with the nine to five job. And now that you are awakened, okay? Going into video number two, we're talking about those three people that, the, those people that cross your path, okay? Remember the prisoners of destruction, okay? Remember that person, right? Prisoners of destruction, uh, the stepstones of blessings. Um, I can't even remember the other name that I named the other one. Um, but my point, I'm a, I was actually going to only use those two anyway in this example. So going to that video, right? Going back to that video. When you're going through your awakening, the job does no longer resonate. Now you're on your, you're on your research grind. You're on your truth grind. You're trying to figure things out. You're trying to keep the, move, the needle moving forward. Even though Satan is trying to stop you. Okay, he's going to place a lot of people on your path that are wolves in sheep clothing. You may have known this in the past before, but because you are now awakened, this is the thing where you really, really need to lean on your discernment, really lean on God, really pray and ask for him to give you. Well, ask for that discernment. Okay, that's not something that you can teach. Okay, you got to have that. You got to be given that. So have that discernment. Use it, family. I'm trying to tell you right now because more people are going to show up on your path that are in alignment with things that you are trying to create with, because you're on the vibration. But a lot of them are going to steer you off path. A lot of them are going to have the spirit of the narcissist. Okay. A lot of them are going to have that the spirit of greed where they're going to try to drain your bank account. They're going to try to drain your energy. So all in all, be very careful of the contracts that you all are signing people that you are getting in business with, people that you are dealing with, okay? A lot of them are pulling your hand. They're pulling your hand, they're taking you somewhere. It seems like everything's all good and great, but in the midst of your awakening, you gotta remember that we have the yin and the yang, all right? So even though that God is leading you and God is walking with you, okay? He's ordering your footsteps, he's ordering your tongue, your words to these people that you talk to. You gotta remember, family, you are divinely protected. Okay, all of my videos that I'm putting out, man, all these things tie in together. So go back, rewatch them, okay? And, and pay very close attention to what is showing up in your life, who is showing up in your life, when they are showing up in your life. Because a lot of you are gonna go through a very traumatic, chaotic time in your life, okay? Maybe you lost a close, close friend. You lost a close, close family member, 
all right? And that is where you're gonna be the most vulnerable, is when you're down and out, and people are gonna show up to say, hey, I could be a shoulder that you can lean on, I could be a shoulder that you can cry on, okay? And that's how they're gonna pull you in, all right? Satan is doing everything right now to stop you. He's working over, 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 over extra time, okay? Because God always wins, man. God always wins, all right? But, all right, but you have to, you have to pay very, very close attention, okay? So pay close attention to the people that you're talking to. You're gonna feel it. You're gonna know if they're for you or not, all right? Sometimes, some you might be a little hesitant at first just because, just because you're trying to protect your energy. You're gonna be a little hesitant at first, okay? Maybe some, maybe they need to, they need to, um, they need to grow on you first, okay? I'm not saying that every person that you come across, you need to immediately just, just, just uh, cut them off or immediately just um, dismiss it, all right? Because some of these people that do show up on your path will actually be there to help you along your journey. That's why it's super, super important for you to stay in prayer, family. All right, this spiritual warfare that we are in right now, this is no joke. This is no joke, all right? I'm trying to tell you right now. It's no joke. A lot of people cannot see what is happening in the world right now, but you, you can see it. You can feel it. You are not alone on this journey, okay? That is why God is waking up so many people right now. We gotta all come together and be in this together, to tell truth together, to stand on our rights and freedoms together, okay? Because Satan only wants to still kill and destroy you because he knows that God is gonna win. So even though, even when you're out here doing your humanitarian work, okay, all these people out here, me, you all, you chosen ones, you're waking up, okay, you're carrying the torch for your family. A lot of you are leading your family out of distress, out of sickness and disease, out of poverty, okay? A lot of you are breaking the generational curses, and guess what? Satan doesn't like it. He doesn't want it, okay? So that's why the wolves in sheep clothing are showing up on your path. All right, so use your discernment. Be very, very careful and mindful of these people that is coming around your life, okay? We're gonna talk about this a lot on my channel. I'm sorry, if you're like, oh, this is kind of repetitive. We're gonna talk about this a lot. I'm trying not to make it too, too repetitive. I'm trying to tie things into my own life experiences and, and just what I see and how I feel, okay? Because I feel it. I can see it, family, all right? Satan is trying to stop me, man. I'm trying to tell y'all right now. I can feel it. But it's not gonna happen because God opened a way bigger door for me way over there, way over there. At first, I was trying to go to this door. I thought it was all good and great, but guess what? God said, I got a way bigger door for you, KB, way over here. Satan is trying to stop me, all right? Guys, when I had my awakening, I was the only one in my family to have an awakening, the only one, right? So when I started scratching my head and was like, yo, wait, what? What's going on? What's going on with our presidents? What's going on with this? What's going on with that? Why is this like that? Why is that like that? I was the only one that had my awakening and everybody just looked at me, my whole family. They all looked at me like I was crazy. <laughs> they all looked at me like, well, Kevin, don't you think maybe you have it wrong? I'm like, but how do I have it wrong? If I've been thinking the way that y'all have been thinking my entire life. Y'all feel me, right? Y'all, I know y'all feel what I'm talking about. They've been telling me, well, maybe you're looking at it the wrong way. Maybe you should look at it this way. And I'm like, but I've looked at it that way before. It's the way that you're looking at it. I'm looking at it from a different angle now. Why is it bad that I'm looking at it from a different angle now? Why am I being shunned for that? Okay, it's crazy, all right? And that's exactly how Jesus was, man. Okay, everybody shunned him, threw tomatoes at him, threw stuff at him, all right? That's why y'all are the way that you are. That's why people look at you the way that they do. That's why your energy is so high. When you go through an awakening, man, your energy is gonna start, it's gonna start raising, guys. It's gonna start raising. Of course, it may be depleted at first because now you're trying to understand what's going on in the world, what's going on with inside of you. You're just trying to understand everything that's going on, but you gotta realize that everything, this, what we are experiencing right now, this is a spiritual battle, okay? We're so used to the wars uh, uh, being just physical wars right missile missiles and and bombs and things blowing up and this and that and all types of casualties check this out okay in the spiritual warfare there are tons of cat there are millions of casualties the spiritually dead people the ones that are not paying attention the ones that have lost it the ones that have gone cuckoo for cocoa puffs the ones that are shunning you calling you crazy right 
are the same people because Satan is sending his agents on the path to kill and destroy you. That's why they're trying to shun you, to make you look like you don't know what you're talking about so that the rest of the world can stay in a slumber party. All right, family? So while you are moving forward on your journey, some of you are newfound spiritual awakeners. Oh, awakeners. You just woke up. You're just like, yo, what's going on? Yo, how did I find this? I don't even know how I found this channel. How did I, how did I land here? God is moving your footsteps right now. God is directing you. God is leading you. God is sending you the information that you need to hear, which is gonna help you move forward in life, okay? And this is what you need to hear right now. A lot of you, like I said, yo, I just lost my job, Kev. I just got fired. I just got fired from my job. And you know what? It's a blessing in disguise because now I'm gonna step foot into my purpose. Now I'm gonna, now I'm gonna, now I have more time to work on the crafts that I've been wanting to do. Okay, I'm extremely happy for you. Just like the nine to five video right? The higher calling video. I'm extremely happy for you. But as you step foot into that, you better pay close attention. Pay close attention because Satan's going to send his agents after you. As soon as you step foot into that new found purpose, as soon as you continue to move towards it, he's going to stop some, he's going to send people that's going to help you hold your hand to get you there. Yeah. Let's go a couple steps, a couple more steps. All right. I want y'all to pretend, pretend you got a, a blindfold on, right? You met somebody. Okay. You can't see them but you can feel their spirit and it seems like that their spirit wants to help you, okay? But along the way, you start to feel a little shaky. You start to feel like a little uneasy. You start to feel that it's not for you. You're starting to see things, okay? That's because you're guardian angels. That is because God is talking to you, talking through you, using different means of other people to get to you saying, hey, my child, hey, my child, you're walking blindly right now on that path, okay? Because at the end of that path or at the end of that walk, okay, where they're, where they're taking you, all right, is a cliff and you're gonna step right off of it. You're gonna step right over it. They're gonna say, you take two more steps and your blessing is right there. Your blessing is right there. Just take two more steps. Your blessing is right there. I know you may not be able to see it, but I got you. I'm walking with you because I have the skill set, the abilities and the connections to get you there. But guess what? You take one step, you feel the dirt. You take the next step and you fall over the cliff. Okay, that is why in the midst of all of that, you have dodged many, many bullets because God is saying, he's pulling you off of that path saying, no, that is not the right person. That is a wolf in sheep clothing. They're trying to steer you off of this path that I have you on. Family, pay very, very close attention, okay, to the people that show up as stepstones and blessings because they can turn into prisoners of destruction. They can turn into prisoners of destruction. That's why, that's why I say be careful of signing contracts. Make sure you read every little word every little fine print, every little detail, pay close attention because that's how Satan gets a lot of people. They put the dollar signs right in your face, make it look good, do all this and that, but in the fine print, okay, you're signing your soul over in blood, you're signing your soul over in something that you're not gonna be able to get out of, all right? And it's going to completely steer you off that narrow path that you was on, family, all right? It's gonna steer you off, read every word. Use your discernment, pay close attention. Before you read any contracts, before you get into business with new business par partners that you might meet, you know, make sure that you pray over it. Make sure that you pray over it and ask God to give you the vision, right? Give you the vision if it's for you or not. If it's not for you, if it's not for me, God, please take it away. Please allow me to see it, okay? That's why a lot of you, before you even get to that next part, you have been taken off course. You've been taken off from meeting this person or have you been taken away from doing business with this person all right because they turned into a prisoner of destruction and god is saying i got y'all man keep 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 walking with me i got you okay so family if this video resonated with you right here all right go ahead and give this video a thumbs up family going into this week following weeks a lot of you are doing new things you got new things moving for you great things happening all right, but just remember a lot of the people that you meet, meet that want to be business partners or anything like that, okay? A lot of them have that spirit of greed. A lot of them have the, the narcissistic spirit over them, okay? And they're showing up in a disguise, all right? They're going to try to get to your bank account. Do not give people to access to certain things that they're trying to get access to, all right? Some people are like, oh, well, let me get access to your, you know, your financial statements and, 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 and this, that, and the third. Let me just get access to those because then I'll be able to help you with your finances to do that. Do not do it, okay? Because they're going to do some type of embezzlement and they're going to be stealing money from you so you don't even see it. Next thing you know, your bank account has been drained out and you're back at square one. 
All right, family, I'm trying to tell you right now, pay very, very close attention. All right, I love y'all so much. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day today. Thank you for tuning in and watching this video. Go ahead and subscribe to this channel and join this community right here, family. All right, I love y'all so much. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.